Just go. This is Ultimate Bucket List. Where everybody gets to do something on their bucket list. We decide what belongs on the ultimate bucket list. Are we doing it? We're doing it. We are here in Las Vegas, Nevada. It is hot, it is summer. So excited. Theme today, water. And elements. Fun <laughs> fact, I can't swim. At all? Oh, no. At all. This is gonna be a challenge then. Yeah. I think I could win. I'm literally making you a different creature. What does that mean? What are we doing? Mermaid school. Can we do that? According to research, you can definitely do it. We just like, we're gonna wear tails and we're You'll gonna- You'll see. You'll yes. see. I am gonna be, I think, a beautiful- I think you will too. Really? I yes. You're, I think you have all the makings of a great mermaid. Merman? Merman. Merdan. Oh, Merdan. How often do you get to say that, like, I was a mermaid? Hi, my name is Kat, and I am your aqua mermaid teacher to learn how to swim like a mermaid today. Yeah, we're at mermaid school. Basically, we fit you all to a tail to your size, and then we will be learning something called the dolphin kick. It's kind of like doing the worm, but in the water. So I've done a lot of body rolling in the club, but not in the water, because I cannot swim. So will I drown today? You will not drown because you have us. Will I get a good Instagram picture from this? That I can 100% guarantee you will. You know what, that's the only questions I have. <laughs> Those are my main concerns. Let's get you guys fitted for your tails. Mermaid. God, this is like putting on jeans. It's hard enough. Why not try something different? Be non-human for today, be a magical creature. I'm a beautiful mermaid now. I'm excited to put on a tail. <laughs> look at Dan. <laughs> and look beautiful. Wow, you look amazing. Just go. Oh. I'm a little concerned about Essence. She's already a mermaid, just living on land. Oh my god, it's so cold. Even though she can't swim. <gasps> I've so made weird. it to another part of the okay. pool in one I'm piece. Gonna go ahead and a little bit nervous. One hand on top of the other one like this, right? Oh god, I'm falling over. I think I've got grace. How do I look? You know, I, I would consider myself a graceful person. Why do you look like you're dying? Murdan. Yeah. Murdan. If I have to put my money on anyone, it will be Jazz. She's naturally more athletic. Girl, I she got you. it. She's got it. We don't have to teach her anymore. She's oh. good. <laughs> yeah. I'm not even underwater and I'm not even swimming. Flipping my fins alone is stressing my core out. But after this, I'm going to take some good photos that I can deliver on. since I was like a little kid. So we are going to go surfing. How are we gonna surf in Vegas? I will tell you how we're gonna surf in Vegas. We are going to go to the Planet Hollywood Hotel. We are going to ride the Flow Rider. Had me at Planet Hollywood <laughs> Hotel. So here's to achieving Dan's childhood dreams. Yes, the achieving childhood dreams. Child Let's child do it. Dreams. Woo! Woo! Off we go <laughs> to Planet Hollywood. Hey, what's up guys? My name's Matt East. I'm a pro flowboarder from Las Vegas, Nevada. Here at the Flowrider today to get you guys surfing on some waves in the desert. When I learn to surf, I don't want to be sitting around on a board just waiting all day for the perfect wave to come, trying not to get eaten by sharks. I don't want that. I want this. We do a little bit of boogie boarding, a little bit of stand-ups, kind of like a skateboard without wheels. Nice, even spread stance about shoulder width apart with your knees bent. You want to keep your shoulders hips straight and your face looking in the direction you're riding. Easy enough, right? I'm not in a body of water, so I will not be drowning. I'll learn how to surf before I can swim. For the body board, your elbows on the board. You lean to your left and you lean to your right. I saw some pros wiping out, so 
Uh, yeah. So what does it take to be a good flowboarder? Not falling. That's the best way. Awesome. It's coming out at 32 miles per hour. I guess they're stronger than the average wave you could get on a normal day. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. Relax. Be cool. Keep your weight on your back foot. You'll cruise. When I fall, is that going to hurt? It is a sheet wave technology. It is basically a mat with nothing underneath. I don't want to fall. to try and be graceful and that this is finally going to be a childhood dream come true. Jasmine, like again, like how are you so good at everything you do? Jasmine is actually Serena Williams. I can only wish for that. Like, I have a little something that we're gonna go do next. We're going water skiing. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> Never done this before. Have you done this before? Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> we're in the middle of a lake. We're in a boat. We're in a boat. Ma, I'm on a boat. Hi, I'm Jamie. I'm here with Las Vegas Water Sports. See that you guys are excited to go skiing today? Yeah, super pumped. This is clearly not my idea because um, I just see danger all around. But I will say that it is absolutely stunning and breathtaking. The Hoover Dam is like just over that way. And we're gonna learn how to water ski. Like that's everything. Summer bucket list, water bucket list, national park bucket list. How hard is water skiing? It's really not too bad. If you have previous experience with other board sports, it definitely helps with the balance and whatnot. It's usually when we have people out here, it, it takes like five to 10 tries. I think you could do it. Yeah. <laughs> I think I couldn't. There are absolutely no circumstances in which I would get into this water. Uh, the biggest tip that I have is a lot of people try to pull in on the rope as they're getting up. Let the boat do the work. That's really the biggest tip I have. Make sure that you keep those elbows nice and relaxed because what usually happens when you pull in is you pitch over the front. Ooh. So don't do any work. Just kind of hang out there and it's going to do work for you. Exactly. Yes. Sign me up. This sounds great. <laughs> I think it's gonna be really thrill-seeking and relaxing at the same time. It just feels like meat. On this zen plane. This is so hard! Dan! She's just confirming that I made the right choice. Nothing about her sounds sound like this is easy or something you should do if you can't swim. All right, here we go! No. And what like hell no. And do better. Our dear friend Jamie said that jazz was off to a good start, and if that was good, I don't want to see bad. This is what you call defeat. Oh. <laughs> All right, next victim. Oh, God. Dan is going to be wonderful and graceful. He's going to look like a butterfly in the sky on, you know, gliding over a lake. I think that we've seen over time that, like, grace and balance is, like, maybe not what I'm great at. I just want to stand up on those skis for, like, a second, and then I'm happy to just, like, sit back and relax. Yeah, I mean, I would count that. You're up on top of the water. Just one more. Wow! 
Oh my god. Good job! Uh, wow. Oh. What a day! The mermaids! You are equal part mermaid when you're in the water and when you're on the rocks. Yeah, and so it's so like true. perfect for everybody. Yes. Surfing, my childhood dream come yep. true. Oh sh And then Jasmine. Water skiing. That took wipeouts to a whole other level. Just so beautiful too. Absolutely breathtaking. What do we do? Do we like count to three? And I got mine. See? I got mine. One, two, three. Water skiing! Oh, what? what? Are you kidding me? Like obviously for me, hell no. But for <laughs> the people watching this, absolutely. Like it was the best experience all around. Such an adrenaline rush. Hit it! Yeah! But then your face goes directly into the water. <laughs> Should yeah. we go for a hike? No hike. You guys want to go to the strip? I would go to the strip. Let's go to the strip.